What's up, Simonics? Welcome to day seven of our Ionic Holiday Calendar. I hope you're still enjoying it as much as I do. Today, a quick venture into dark mode. Um, you know, dark mode is really growing in popularity uh, with iOS now also having this feature automatically enabled when it goes to bedtime. I thought it might be a good idea to quickly check out how we can easily achieve this in our Ionic app. So I've prepared a tabs application. It just started the tabs layout and I also already installed the Ionic storage package. So basically what I ran so far is install the Ionic storage and generate a new service for our application because um, it is good to automatically do this, but perhaps you also want to enable a little toggle inside your app where users can also um, manually choose to switch their theme. So with that being said, let's go to our uh, theme service and implement a little something. So we first of all want to wait until our platform is ready to perform anything specific related to this. So we go ahead in here and now we have a simple media query that we can use to um, see if the preferred color scheme changes. So there are actually two ways to do this. So if you go to the Ionic page, you will see that there's also a way to do this directly from CSS. The problem is that this is not uh, supported by all browsers yet. And also um, doing it manually from code allows us to put in our um, manual toggle as well. So instead of doing this media query, we basically do it right here in our um, theme service. And also um, we want to implement a little function to set the app theme to perhaps dark. So let's start by having dark mode set to false in the beginning. And we will then listen to our prefers dark media query list. And the good thing is we can add a listener. And once we get a result, and uh, we will see this in a second, how dynamically this can be used, we can call this set app theme with E matches. So perhaps I will lock out the full object and put in a little lock here. So uh, matches and then E. Um, right now we're not yet using the service. So let's inject it just in our tab one page, private theme service, theme service. There we go. I think that should be fine. So let's see the app is recompiling and on iOS, I can simply open my system preferences, go to general and switch to dark mode. And we see perhaps the, perhaps our service isn't as ready as I thought. But actually, I think you see that I can switch my uh, appearance on Windows. I think there are same settings. Um, if you're a Windows user, please leave a comment below um, just in case, um, well, just in case that somebody is using Windows, which I guess many of you are. I'm sorry, I'm just a Mac user. Anyhow, um, let's continue for now with our uh, tab one page. So as you can see, we got some Ionic dummy stuff in here and I will just append to here a little button to toggle our dark mode. So this will be the manual toggle and we can implement our toggle dark mode right in this page by using the theme service. And then the problem is we don't know yet about the app theme uh, from this position. And if you want to have a toggle, it's also a good idea to let the uh, service completely handle this. So a little toggle function could look like this. You simply swip, uh, switch, flip, whatever the dark mode and then call the set app theme in here. I'm still not 100% sure uh, why we don't see our matches uh, listener here because normally we actually should see this. Um, and now I also messed something up. Yeah, because we need to call toggle app theme in here as well. Uh, let's see. Um, the general problem is that so far we're also not yet applying any styling. Um, with a media query of Ionic, it would be automatically applied in here. But the CSS fallback is to have a dark class appended to your body. And they actually have some CSS here, which we can copy. So we got dark colors, we got an 
iOS dark theme and we got a material dark theme. Let's copy all of this to our variables and just append it right below here. So now if we would add a dark class to our body element, we should see all the CSS colors using the new value. And that's simply the idea of our theme service set app theme. What we need to do is first of all, set our dark mode to whatever we passed to this function and then make a simple if, if dark mode is enabled, we add dark to the class list of the body and otherwise we remove it. One thing I will not do but show you is um, to use also the status bar and style it because I noticed on applications that they turn black but you still get this little bar at the top which is light uh, because most of the time you have a default styling set in your app component. So if you want to make this as well, just add the dark mode in here as well. So now we should be able to manually toggle our dark mode which we can do very fine. And we should now finally also be able to switch it from here. And there we go. We finally get the matches. And you see, this is what we use, uh, the matches in here, which automatically calls our function once again. And you see, because we're setting the CSS variables, everything in our application turns to the night dark seam. Um, now, finally, as a little idea for you as well, um, what you could do is set up a theme key right here and then from your storage, so that's also the reason why we installed Ionic storage in the beginning, private storage, storage, um, make sure you're using Ionic storage and from there, get your theme key in the beginning and then set the app theme according to what is saved. And whenever you call set app theme, you also set this value. This is just an idea um, if you want to have this uh, manual switch in here. So switching it to dark mode now and reloading it would make it dark in the next time as well. So this is just a matter of setting the preferences. Um, but now it works both ways, both from the OS settings and also manually. So this also works for like a general theme switch. I hope you enjoyed day seven of our Ionic holiday calendar. If you got any questions about this, feel free to ask below. And otherwise, I will catch you tomorrow for next day.